All right, in this session, we're going to be doing both the spot drilling and the drilling of all 12 holes that we have over here. So if you actually zoom into these holes real quick and go over one of the IDs, the, uh, the, you're going to see a 1 8th 0.125 diameter hole appear. So we know that our holes are 0.125. So what we want to do is we want to use a 0.125 spot drill and a 0.125 a drill to drill both of them, but we're not going to go the, as the deep uh, the depth of the entire OD of the spot drill we're gonna go only a certain amount that we set so let's get started by going up here to 2.5 D and then drilling okay so let's set that to new come down over here under uh, select centers by and then select all circles arc centers that's something I really like about this feature is that it allows you to select all the holes at once that you're drilling from one side from one side of the um, coordinate system. So all circles, arc centers, select that. And if I zoom out, you're gonna see it's gonna start out over here. And it's gonna come down one hole at a time, all 12 holes, and it's gonna spot drill all of them. So now that you have that selected, click on OK. And let's go to Tool, and then go to Select. Now, I've already practiced with this operation, so I have the spot drill set up already to 0.125, if you don't, just click on add milling tool and then so select a 0.125 spot drill click on ok and let's go to levels okay now for the drill depth we're not worried about going a certain amount of depth I'm gonna set that to zero because I'm not looking for any certain depth I'm just looking to spot drill but a very important factor is coming down here under depth type and then this will allow you to select what how deep do you want this to go based on the OD of the part. So if you want it to go down the OD of the entire um, mill, you will tell it, you know, 0.125 and it will go down all the way through. Now, I don't want it to go all the way through. I want it to go a little bit less than the OD of our normal drilling. OK, so it's going to be uh, sorry, it's going to be 0.1. OK. So I only want it to go 0 0.1. 0 0.1 defines the diameter of how far the tool will go. So I know the outside OD is going to be 0.125, but 0.1 is going to be somewhere still, you know, in, in the drilling area right here, which will make sure that my hole is not opened up to 0.125 yet. Now that you have that selected, just go on Save and Calculate and Simulate. Let's click on Play. And you're going to notice that the hole size is not actually 0.125, it's 0.1 drilled. And I will show you in the next setup. So I'm going to click on exit and save and exit. And I'll show you in the next one. So now we just spot drilled all the holes. We want to do the drilling operation. So go back to 0.2.5D and then drilling. Now come over here under that and then select drill. Or drill 1 is the last one that we've actually used. This it says drill one over here and then go to tool now for the tool obviously you want to drill now you don't want to spot drill uh, just a quick reference anything in blue that means it's been already used in another operation okay so anything in black means it's an available tool that I've selected somehow but it's not being used by any operation yet so I'm gonna select my drilling tool make sure it's 0.125 and click on select Remember, it's going to be our eighth tool used in this entire operation. Click on Levels. And now we want to select the drill depth. So click on Drill Depth and then come over here, rotate it until you can snap onto the point right here and then select it. It's going to set it to 0.53755 and click on the check mark. So 0.53 is the distance between here and the upper level. If you add those two together, you're going to get the 0.5755 that was shown before. Okay, now that you have that done, click on Save and Calculate. And if you go to Technologies over here, um, there's a sorting option, which you can click on Default, Short Distance, or Advanced, which I will show you later on in this uh, video tutorial. And there's also a drilling cycle, which you can um, check as well. So the drill cycle type, you can go to Pack. I'm just going to do a normal drilling, and the only reason I'm doing normal drilling in this one is because I'm not machining too deep. I'm only machining half an inch deep. I can do it all in one operation. Pack is mostly used for something that you're machining uh, really deep uh, in a few inches. You want it to pack in, 
and out, go back in and out every um, quarter of an inch or every half an inch or so. Okay, so I'm going to keep it at drilling. And now I'm going to go to save and calculate and then simulate. Now before I start that, I'm going to zoom in just like I told you I would. And I'm going to play it in slow motion. And I'm going to pause that right there. You're going to notice that the OD now is bigger than the spot drill OD. And that's because I made it stop machining at 0.1. And this is the 0.125 that I have set up already for it. Okay. So I just wanted to show you that. So you know that this only went down 0.1, which was the diameter of the tool at the operation. And I'm going to click on play. Let it finish off all my tools, all my machining. There you go. Click on X. Click on exit. I'm going to click on the isometric view again to get it back to normal. And there you go. This concludes your session for the spot drilling and drilling of all 12 holes in this exercise.